All right, 7.2, solving exponential equations. To do that, we need to get the same base, all right? So two to the x equals eight, right? Two to what power equals eight? Well, two cubed equals eight. So x is three. Now, three to the first power is three. But when it ends up going down in the denominator, the only difference is that means it's negative one. All right, so whenever the number is in the denominator, so let's say it was three squared equals nine. Well, three to the negative two equals one over nine. Not negative one over nine or negative nine, which is a very common mistake. It's one over nine, all right? And then this is going the other way. We're getting, notice how we're getting smaller. So if you think about it, you know that the square root of 25 is five, all right? Well, how do we write this as a fraction? 25 to the 1 half. So x equals 1 half. All right, so you can probably do most of these in your head. However, when the exponential equations are more complicated, we try to solve them by rewriting the bases so they're all the same. So here's the steps. You can pause to read. I'm going to read it to you. It's going to do the um, problem here. So, in number example number one, notice how we have a base of seven on each of them. They're equal to each other. When the bases are equal, we can basically get rid of them and just say whatever the exponent is here is equal to the exponent over here. Now I'm going to add x and get 4x. I'm going to subtract 5 and get negative 4. Divide by 4, x is negative 1. And again, the beauty of math is I can plug this in. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, plus 5 is negative 2. I'm sorry, it's positive 2. And if I plug it in here, 1 minus a negative 1 is 1 plus 1, which is 2. So they're both 2, which means 7 squared equals 7 squared, 49 equals 49. So real quickly, even though you have these, you can pause if you want or you can fast forward to the end. All right. Two squared is four, then eight, then 16, then 32, and then 64. Three squared is nine, times three is 27, times three again is 81. Four squared is 16, times four again is 64. Five squared is 25, and then that's 125. You already have those in your cards, but. Okay, so notice here. I can rewrite 16 with the same base of 4. I can rewrite this as 4 squared. So this stays the same, and this is simply 4 squared. 16 is 4 squared. Once I'm done with, I have the same base, that's it. 2x equals 2, x equals 1. And again, I could plug that in and check it. 2 times 1 is 2, 4 squared is 16, I'm good to go. Now, just so you know, you could have done this a different way, a little bit more work, but I could have used a base of 2. 2 to the 4th, which we just saw down here. 2 to the 4th is 16. And 4 is really 2 squared. The only thing is I have to keep that 2x there. So now I have the same base of 2. 2 times 2x is 4x equals 4. I still end up with 1. So there are some times, especially with twos and fours, where you can rewrite them, okay? Um, the larger one you do is just going to be less work, but they're both correct. And also remember, we're talking about exponential values, not timesing, okay? So this is not going to be 2 times 8 is 16. It's 2 to the 4th. Just be careful with that. All right, so this one is okay. I'm going to rewrite this one as 5 cubed. The x just tags along. Once the bases are the same, x plus 8 equals 3x. I'm going to subtract x from both sides and get 2x equals 8, x equals 4. And I, again, I could use a calculator, they're going to be bigger numbers, but I can plug that back in and check my answer. All right.
So 8 and 16. Remember, this is a no-no. It's not 8 times 2 equals 16. Don't do that. Also, we can't use 4 because there's no way to do 4 to get 8. Again, it's not 4 times 2 is 8. That's 4 times two, 4 to the second power, which is 16, which we're actually going to use. We can't use because they're not a common base. So you can't use 4 for 16 even though it works. So we need to use 2. 2 to the third power and 2 to the fourth power. Now, 2 to the third power is just straight up 8. But for this one, we need to continue with that 3x minus 6, which we're going to distribute the 4 to. So we're going to get 3 equals 12x minus 24. So we're going to add 4 and get 27 equals 12x. That means x is equal to 12, sorry, 27 over 12, which reduces. 3 goes into this 9 times, 3 goes into this 4 times. Now you might look at that answer and be afraid that you're wrong. But here's the beauty of this again. You have a really good calculator and you can use it. So I can take my calculator and test this out and see if it works out. So, 3, I can put 9 fourths in, okay, there it is. I can convert it to a fraction if I want, I don't have to, it, either way it will work. So I'm going to take the 9 fourths times the 3. Then I'm going to subtract 6, because that's what it says, 3x minus 6. 3 fourths. That is the exponent. So then 16 to the power of 3 fourths. I could even put in 0.75 if I wanted. 8. And that's what it says over here. So even though you might think, oh, that's wrong, plug it in and check it and see if it's correct. All right. 1 third and 9. Remember, don't worry about the fraction. Just think about the 3. If this was just 3, it'd be 3 to the 1. So remember, this is 3 to the negative 1. That's all. Times the x minus 3 equals 3 squared times the x. So now I have the same base. I'm going to distribute my negative 1. That's negative x plus 3. And over here, I just have 2x. I'm going to add x to both sides. Divide by 3, and I get x equals 1. And again, I could check it if I want, and it works out. Again, just look at the 9 and 27. That's a common base of 3. 3 squared is 9. 3 to the negative 2 is 1 over 9. So I do x plus 5 here. And then here, 3 to the third power is 27 times negative x. So I'm going to put negative x, basically. Same base, distribute the negative 2, I'm going to add 2x to both sides, which will give me negative 10 equals negative 1x, divide by negative 1, x is 10. Okay, I just look at the 7 and 49, 7 to the 1 is 7, so 7 to the negative 1 is 1 over 7, very simple, adjustment in our heads, 11 minus x, equals 7 squared, 5x plus 2, distribute the negative 1, distribute the 2. I'm going to subtract x and get 9x. I'm going to subtract 4 and get negative 15. Divide by 9 and I get negative 15 over 9. Divide by 3, negative 5 thirds. Again, this is one that looks nasty, but if you actually wanted to plug it in, it will work out. And you have a calculator to do all the work, but that's it.